Uh, I think I, I just happened. I'm walking to the shopping mall. There's this shortcut, and when I walk here, I saw these houses, which is the, which is where the local people live. <sighs> Shooting this with my iPhone because um, I don't have, I don't have any more space in my Insta360. It's full. Okay, let's go. I guess this is a date and I was trying to go over there. Oh, the dog is barking at me. Oh my god. At least the dog is doing its job. I'm buying some food, um, supper or dinner through with, with this uh, food. food. Gonna get some of my stuff. I've ordered a noodles. Uh, it costs eight thousand Cambodia rings. I think that's almost like close to three Singapore dollars. This one Singapore dollars is about three thousand Cambodia rings. And this is a street food. I saw them opening the store around 6 p.m. So just came back here to order. idea what's that but it looks good so for Cambodian street food um, usually it's three things fried noodle fried rice or there's like a soup so they have like the soup is kind of like white noodles with a bit of meat I've tried the noodles. The noodles are acceptable, pretty bland, but still quite alright. Um, at least they give quite a number of beef. So I've tried their fried rice, their fried noodles, which is this one, and I've tried their soup-based noodles before. Um, uh, within these two days when I first arrived to Pompeii, and I will say that um, it's pretty bland, nothing special. Definitely not spicy like Thailand's food. It's okay. It's acceptable. Yeah. So I'm a pretty picky eater, but when I travel around the world, I try to try many different types of food and I will try the lower class food and I don't spend money on fancy restaurants, but yeah, mostly lower end food and things in food court, cheaper restaurants, this few range. So this is quite all right. Coconut smoothie, 5,000 Cambodia reels, which is about $1.50. $1.50 Singapore dollars and this is a beef fried rice for 8,000 Cambodia rules which is about round down to about $2.50 Singapore dollars This is one of the area where you can find uh, street food uh, barbecue, seafood some groceries I just had my dinner and I'm walking this I wish I had found this area sooner because I was really looking for a local food Cambodian food uh, but Near where I'm staying, right? There's even a raw meat. So near where I'm staying, they keep on selling a lot of uh, fast food from America brands, and that's not what I was looking for. I really wanted Cambodian food. Oh, these are shrimps. Crab shrimps. Oh, this is like a red market during the daytime. Uh, sorry, during the nighttime, and it's like barbecue food. Hmm. Oh, I still want to get them. Oh, finally 
Okay, I'm seeing a bit more room. Wow. And it's like roast chicken. Uh, Bomban? How much? Rice. Rice and maybe uh, one soup to uh, 4,000 real. 4, Okay, uh, if one soup and two veggie and meat. So one? So one, 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 four thousand? No, one soup and one rice, four thousand. Oh, one soup and one rice, four thousand. Okay, if one, one veggie, one meat, and one soup, and one rice. One dish. Okay, uh, yeah, one dish, one dish, one soup, and one rice. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, so uh, one veggie, one meat, one soup, and one rice cost about 10,000 Cambodia reels. Um, that's two, two and a half USD dollar, about three Singapore dollars, around that three dollar plus. Mm, okay, I was looking for this, right? it was so hard to find. Wow. Uh, what is a uh, person with a Porsche car doing over here? Uh, diamond shop, no wonder. Oh my, they have a lot of uh, local food. Finally found someone who cooks like a uh, local food. Some of the local Cambodian dish. Oh man, this is so awesome. Ah. I'm gonna bookmark this area so that you guys can come here if you are here in Cambodia. Um, this is, has a lot more of the local food. Oh. My house is just like um, around there. Hmm. I think I might get some food here. This is what I got from the street food. So I bought uh, this looks like bitter gout with some meat in it. Pretty classic dish and this is long beans. Um, it's a, there's some kind of meat inside as well. It's fish. It smells like salted fish. Yeah, it smells like salt, salted fish. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna... I got rice as well but I don't think I'm gonna have any of the rice. I'm just gonna eat a uh, vegetable. If I were to buy from a street vendor, I would definitely bring it back. I know that it's been left there for quite some time and I'm definitely going to microwave them in order to remove most of the bacteria and pathogen to make it safer to eat. And of course, um, hopefully you're saying the hotel, hostel or hotel or Airbnb where um, there is like a clean cutleries that you can use. I'll trust that more. Yeah, just use that. At least it's been washed with a proper tap water, clean ones, and I don't want to see that they, their so-called plates and cutleries have been washed through like very dirty tap waters and stuff like that. So yeah, two reasons. Uh, one is to microwave them. Second one is to have a more cleaner utensils. I mean, all this plastic Tupperware is brand new, and I want to have uh, clean utensils to eat it with. This is a safer way to eat street food. I forgot to mention that uh, I was really looking for this sort of uh, vegetable and meat mixed rice from different country. So in Indonesia, we have it. It's called nasi pandan. Singapore, we have it as well. Malaysia, um, Malaysia has it as well. A bit of Malay, Malay culture. Thailand has it as well. You know your means, uh, basil means meat, and a lot of things you can mix together. So the reason why I was looking for this food originally was to actually taste a different um, vegetable and meat cooked by the locals. It has that sort of, you know, you know how your mother cook the food for you? It's a very local kind of taste. But, and of course, uh, most of the ingredients, right, we are living on planet Earth. We share the same kind of meat and vegetable. It's just different cooking style. So you'll be quite familiar, but pretty exciting to try different dish as well. When I first arrived on my first two nights, I couldn't find um, all of these um, food. Uh, the only thing that I could find was more like the street food where they sell the fried noodles, fried rice, and also the soup. I kind of regret eating that beef 
fried rice that I've shown um, earlier on. I wish I had found. After I had my meal, then I actually found this store selling uh, all this kind of uh, local food. Yeah. Okay, this is the view from my apartment. It's pretty nice. So I actually walked all the way from my house to the monument era, the statue, the king statue and all the way to the palaces the king palaces over there and I walk back by the sea and I come back here S somewhere around here I found yeah I think somewhere around there was where I found the mixed dish okay it's 10pm uh, on a Sunday night I'm just gonna show you the streets of city of central Cambodia Pompeii Here in Cambodia. Hello, Hi, not today, thank you. Walk, walk. Yeah. So, Tutu. Cambodia's Tutu is actually uh, looks nicer than uh, Thailand's. So, Tutu is like a three uh, wheel ride. So, normally I would take a motorbike around, but uh, I think in Cambodia it's very fun to actually take one of these. And as you, as you can see, it's actually. Oh, sleeping, okay. Let me see. So, as you can see, right, it's actually very nice. Uh, it's clean and beautiful. Can you speak A bit, yeah? Okay, so these are the other officers. Um, they're telling me not to bring my phone out and film during night time because people were still. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Um, <laughs> A police officer, those guys were a police officer holding a gun and they are telling me not to carry my iPhone out to do filming. And the reason why I'm doing it is because my i my Insta 360 is uh, doesn't have any more battery, uh, doesn't have any more memory space. So I'm like, I'm completing whether I should actually go around and do filming. I just wanted to show you around the street. Um, yeah, man, uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, this is my only phone. I don't want to lose it as well. This is one of the 24-hour supermarket. Uh, and this is how the street looks like. As you can see, uh, pretty quiet. I'm only doing filming when I'm around places that uh, has cameras since the officer that says that it's pretty dangerous to do so. And since he's, he's even holding a gun, for someone to hold a gun and say that not to do something, I think uh, my answer just follow that. So in Cambodia, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of trees around, and not much things happening. Um, maybe a one or two pubs, which is just behind there. Aside from that, nothing much is happening. The drinks here are a little bit quite expensive. In most countries, they have a local beverage. For example, uh, Thailand has Thai milk tea, green milk tea, and you know, uh, Taiwan probably has their own boba milk tea. Singapore has um, <laughs> milk tea as well, or Milo. And uh, however, here in Bangkok, I couldn't find any, aside from their Cambodia beer and Angkor Wat, I couldn't really find a local beverage that's non alcoholic. And you can also find um, small beer towers to drink. Prices here are kind of like expensive. Um, you know, all the drinks are like in one or two USD, one point see one dollar fifty cent USD dollar. If it was in Singapore dollar, it was still alright, but it's in USD dollar, so it's a bit more expensive. And if likewise, if you were to pay them in uh, USD dollar, you're gonna get that change in Cambodia wheels. So there's really no point giving USD dollar. Yeah. Okay, um, I guess uh, that's it for the night time of Cambodia. <laughs> uh, I'm also a bit worried. I don't want anyone to steal my phone. It's, I use my phone to... Yeah, it's pretty important. It's my main device that I use to do video editing for my YouTube channel. So, yeah, that's it. We're gonna... Yeah, that's it for tonight. This is it for the streets of Cambodia.